Hello all and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chase and thank you for joining me today on Boss Rouse Videos. This will be a follow-up video to uh, Outpost 101 which I just posted. Which by the way, thank you all very much for your support. That was by far my, my highest grossing video. I'm in like the 700s for views right now, but that's my biggest uh, view count for a full length video. I was working with like 20 views prior, like up to 100 at like one point, but 700? Very happy in the direction that the channel's going, so thank you all very much for your support, and I will make more videos like this. But without further ado, today's video is uh, how to get unlimited storage. I will be first showing you the uh, free and like, cheaper route, and then second I'll be showing you the ultimate route, which is based off of outposting. So without further ado, let's get into this. Option one for getting unlimited storage in Starfield. Option one is a completely free route that can be done on day one, level one, all the way up to uh, level 100, day 1000. It does not matter as long as you have access to the lodge, which will be a pinnacle point in almost every one of your campaign missions. So I'm sure everyone knows what that is, but just in case, you can see that uh, the Alpha Centauri solar system is where we wanna be. And we're gonna be going to the planet Jimson. Jimison, and we're going to New Atlantis. And if you haven't been here before, progress there and progress through the story. But if you have been here, then you can fast travel directly to the lodge, which makes this much easier. Once at the lodge. I hope you we'll are come inside, with the quarters of turn empty. right and go straight downstairs. In this room, you'll see that there is every crafting workbench in the game. Industrial, the scientific, the research, pharmaceutical, everything that you could think of is already here. But what makes this appealing is these three boxes. So there's one here, a storage box. Most of the time when you look at these boxes, they'll have a weight limit capacity here. However, these do not. So throw in every gun I have, go over and look, still nothing. Even though I have half a pound, 1.5 pounds, three, so on and so on and so on. There should be something, however, there's nothing. So these are unlimited storage containers, which you can do literally day one. So quite handy, especially if you don't have, if you don't want to sell something or like you're saving up or you don't know what to do with it or et cetera, et cetera, and you just want to save it. That's storage box number one. There's three in this whole basement. So storage box number one right next to all the crafting benches. Storage box number two over here on this lonesome table. Once again, same principle. Throw everything in there. Go back and look. And I have nine weapons in here, although it's at zero. You can see I'm broke right now, disregard that. So that's option two for the storage box. And we're gonna be invading someone's space here, going in this room. I think, you know, yes, you can't sleep in a bed, but you can use the storage box here. Same principle applies. So these three boxes are available to you after doing the very, very first mission, which is just delivering, uh, getting the ship back to uh, the lodge and talking to the people upstairs. However, after you complete the first mission that they assign you, which is uh, the old neighborhood, they will assign you your own bedroom here, upstairs. And you ask Noel to take you there and they'll take you. But the bedroom is up here to the right, left down the hall, and it's right here. You have a bed that you can get the well rested uh, status effect on, and then you have a safe. Once again, the safe has unlimited storage. Place anything you want in, and it will never be full. Now, why is this option one, and not like just the ultimate option if it's if it truly is fully unlimited and all that? I say that it's not because you have to fast travel here. You don't have your ship directly like right next to you here. And so what does that mean? Let's say that you had this big haul from like a mission you did. You're over encumbered. You like made your way back to the ship. You have like you dropped off all the way from your companion and everything on the ship. And there's like a thousand pounds worth of stuff you want to sell. Well, you can't fast travel when you're over encumbered. And so your options are to like bring the stuff here from your ship. If your ship has limited storage space or wherever you're at has limited storage space, you're gonna be doing like stops here and there and there. And on top of that, if you wanna sell stuff in uh, the city from the vendors, 
they can't sell directly from your storage here and so you have to physically have it on you walk it there or like physically take it from here and put it on your ship because you can sell the vendors from your ship to the vendor or from your personal inventory to the vendor however you can't sell stuff from here and so it makes it a bit more challenging and so from that aspect alone I would say to do option two which is building your own outpost and then building a bunch of storage there and also if you have a time and resources build a cargo ship like you saw me flying in on because that allows you to fill everything up on your ship go back to your outpost and then your outpost is within distance of your ship and so you can constantly like trade in and out of the inventory of your ship and the inventory of your actual person so it makes it much nicer and at the same effect you can take stuff from your long term long term storage of your outpost put it on your ship come back to any city not just new atlantis and then sell directly from your ship to the vendors so you can sell thousands and thousands of pounds worth of stuff directly from your ship to the vendors and if they run out of money wait 48 ut time hours or universal time hours like i stated in the prior video and just keep selling it so that's why option two is the preferred method however it costs a lot of money time and resources and if you haven't already make sure you check out that video the outpost 101 that i posted that it goes in all the woodworks and like all the details on how to get that process started in terms of fundamentals but if you're in the bind and you don't want to spend any money you uh, don't want to bother yourself with the outpost building this will work just fine for the time being option two and also the main option and the most preferred option in my opinion we're going to be heading over first to Aquila City once again if you saw outpost 101 you know exactly where this is Aquila City and the Cheyenne solar system go ahead and head here We're going to be going to uh, the, the main uh, general store in here as well as Midtown Minerals. Why? Because we are in search of a certain material. So we can see if they have any here. I want to do your bit. Take a look around. It's a good, well, all kind. Resources. And there you have it structural material so we're going to be buying a bunch of structural material and if you don't already have like an aluminum farm or a farm at all then a structural material and iron is what or i'm sorry aluminum is what you want to stock up on <laughs> however at the same time does he have any he doesn't have any right now sealant yeah it does so sealant is going to be used for outpost building in terms of like the actual like house building of outpost building you'll more than likely be using aluminum, iron, and sealant in some variations, sometimes tungsten or other metals, depending on like what type of like housing material or like pod system you're using. But most systems or most components in base building will use aluminum, iron, and sealant. So if you don't have a farm and you don't intend to make like a farm based off my Outpost 101 video, then go ahead and stock up on those materials. Once again, that'd be aluminum, iron, and sealant. I have enough. I'll buy some more sealant just because I, just because it's here. However, that's just for base building itself. Now, to build storage containers for your base that I'm talking about, and the one that we're going to be building is the storage crate. The vendors' inventory as well as funds are set upon UT time. So go ahead and wait. And so this planet has it looks to be a one one hour local to one hour 10 minutes UT time. So it's a little better and like that gets like magnified the more up you go. But altogether, I'm gonna have to wait 48 UT time hours to reset the vendor's uh, inventory as well as money stash and all that. I'm gonna do this because I wanna buy at least like three or four rounds of structural material. So that way I'm just completely set and I don't have to go back and forth and like, ah, oh, I need more, whatever the case may be. Do this for Midtown Minerals for aluminum, do this for the sealant, do this for whatever you need. I'm doing this just for structural material for my purpose here, but I'll come back to you after I do this a couple times. Okay, I've uh, bought a sufficient amount of structural material. 
exactly how much. I did it three times, and each time he sells like a little over 20. So, if I were to look, I have 70 structural material and 63 sealant. Don't know why I have that, but nonetheless, I'm over encumbered right now. That's why it's nice doing this one. I like this uh, store in particular because I'm so close to my ship. As soon as you get within, I forget the exact amount of meters, but so many hundred, like, so many hundred feet, you can just go ahead. Oops. Go to your ship, go to the cargo hold, and you can switch between them. So my inventory, go in here. I, for me on console, I hit T, which is uh, store all resources. And I'm no longer over encumbered. Still like 100 feet from the ship. And with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and fast travel now that I'm no longer over encumbered to my outpost, my main outpost. I built my own little outpost uh, landing strip here that I can do my ship builder on. So I land directly on. Looks fantastic. So what I'm going to do. And this is why I say that this is nice building your own outpost so even though it might take a little longer but just watch outpost 101 i'll have it linked up here watch other outpost videos do your own research do trial and error if that's your thing that's all up to you but i'm going to say that this is the preferred method because whenever you do this i'm on my outpost right now and i can transport stuff in between my inventory and my ship's inventory as easy as this because i'm close enough nearby it so ship's cargo i want all the Uh, you see my mass of the ship, 2700 to 5600, so I'm nowhere even near using it all. And I don't intend to like really push it past this, but... Structural material, 139. I had some on the ship already, I'll take all of that. Sealant, in case I want to build more. Oh, I have different types of sealant. I assume that that is used uh, in the same manner, but this just tells you where you get it from. Or I might have to process into sealant. I am not the biggest into the more advanced side of the house. Like I said, I'm just a fundamentals person. But, nonetheless, hopefully ships don't come and bother me here. Um, I have a small outpost over here. Someone coming. Making sure that pirate who in space isn't going to come and attack me. But, Go up into my bird's eye view here. And I'm going to go over to structures. And like I said, so like this one, to make an outpost airlock, this one takes lead, aluminum, lead, and sealant. If you look at most of these uh, aluminum, lead, iron, aluminum, sealant, aluminum, lead, sealant. And you get into like titanium, aluminum. Most of them are going to be about the same. This one looks nice. But nonetheless, I'm going to make this because I have a lot of this material. And I'll put you here. I'm just going to build two. So it was that easy to add two extra rooms into my storage facility here. And once you feel satisfied with the structure, go ahead and do the reason why we're here. Option two for unlimited resources. This one is the far superior option in my opinion. So go into your builder mode. And under decorations, you'll have storage box and storage crate. Storage crate will hold 150 pounds. And this one will only hold like 10 pounds. And so it's really not even worth it not worth it in the slightest did not mean to do that but you can see the different like styles that are in same with this one so whatever style suits you they all require the same amount of resources to build so it does not matter just all about 
what you think looks nice. I think that looks nice. However, the choice is fully up to you. And you can see, so for your uh, pre like planning capability, it's going to take two aluminum, four structural material. So that's very annoying that it doesn't like auto snap. Hmm. Nope, not artist, so I'm definitely going to upset some people here. But uh, what I'm getting at here is just the principle of the build. So, I still have the capability to make quite a few more of these. I'm no mathematician. I'm not going to get into that. However, what have I done so far? Each one of these holds 150. 150, 150, 150. You do the math, you can make a lot. And like that was very very like minimal effort on my part i could build like a whole room of these make it look nice i'm only making it look like that just for principle's sake here but do a whole room of these do a whole halls of these go back over here make it in here too and then like you're talking about like each one of those is 150 and so like 10 is 1500 storage and so you have that one room has 1500 storage in it if you multiply that and just keep doing it you're never going to run out of storage. And you can like really finely tune how this is organized. Have one that's just pistols. Have one that's this. Have one that's that. Have it uh, different styles. Whatever suits you. Like I said, I like this one quite a bit. Take the time and actually like make it so it lines up. Just like that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times 150. And now, like, the space is just going to keep going up. That's the principle. And that's how you build storage on your base. And now, like, now it's fully up to you. However, that will conclude today's video. Hopefully, this helped answer some questions as well as uh, acted as, like, a kind of continuation or a slight part two to my Outpost 101 video. Once again, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. If I need to make another video, I can. Uh, and my next Starfield video that I will be doing will be uh, how to get the Star Eagle, which is the best, in my opinion, the best pre-made ship, prefabricated ship in the game. That's Class A, so anyone can drive it. So that will be uh, my next big episode that I'm going to be doing here, unless there's follow-ups that I need to do for this video. But without further ado... Thank you all and hope you have all have a beautiful night.